Good morning, everyone. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. The very last day of November. Yay! And it is my 100th floss tube. So welcome. It has been a week. It has been a, a past 24 hours. I don't know if all y'all are as old as I am, but yeah. Some days it's a struggle. Last night I went to bed. Well, yeah, let's start with yesterday day. So I'm at work. I was only there like five hours and I get a cramp in both my, like my, the upper quadrant of my toes so bad I have to sit down yeah so that happened then I left about two I brought my water bottle today because you'll you'll get it here in a minute just a second so I left about two o'clock I was home of maybe half an hour I had one of my cluster migraines I, I call them a migraine but they're cluster headaches so I had one. I got through that. And about an hour and a half later, I had another one. Yeah, that's how that day went. So, needless to say, about 11 o'clock, I decided I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, so I went to sleep, like, must have been pretty shortly thereafter. Not a problem. Then I wake up with a nightmare. And I'm pretty physical with my nightmares. I mean, I'm interactive because I talk in my sleep and I jump out of bed in my sleep. Yeah, I lost the bottom plate of my dentures somewhere. So at 2 o'clock in the morning until about 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm looking all over my bedroom for my dentures. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. Couldn't find, finally found them. Then I can go back to sleep. Now it's 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. I didn't get up until mm, almost 8.30. Oh, yeah. Rearranged the entire bedroom. It was great. It was great. Yeah. It, it's an embarrassing story to tell. Because this kind of crap happens only if I am terribly stressed out about something. You know, like, I mean, if there's something big going on, you know. Yeah. First, at one point, I thought I was convinced that the dog ate him. Yeah. And, or I flushed him accidentally down the toilet while I was sleeping. I have no idea. I know more information than you needed to know, right? So here we are. Yeah. So, oh, and also yesterday, I moved my recliner that sits there on this side of this window. Yeah, I couldn't. And it's one of those recliners that you, uh, take the top part off and so I got it down the hall and into the the little room but the big part weighs like 150 pounds I couldn't even drag it across the floor okay it was awful so I shoved it into that room that goes right there that's usually on my right hand side yeah it was a day yesterday so I put up my table for my diamond painting and it has all kinds of crates sitting underneath it so I don't know if it'll be useful useful or not so yeah so there's been changes in floss tube and a hundred a hundred floss tubes that just kind of blows me away hey Molly yeah she's opening the window over here looking out and shining light in my eyes it's great so yeah, we're we're just trying to get through today. Yeah. So and I hope that's not too bright and it doesn't go up down, up down, up down. We have the drawings. Now I couldn't find four of these total because heaven knows what happened to them. So I have two of them in coffee cups. Don't ask. But it was kind of a 
busy, busy week from last week. We had Thanksgiving. I had a lovely time. Thank you very much. We did some things, and I did not get too much done at all last week. Yeah. Did finish a diamond painting. Let me see if this is right side up. Oh, it's this way. Really doesn't matter. Isn't that beautiful? I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do. I haven't been to the thrift store to see if I can find any bigger square frames. We don't. We have like your normal size 16 by 20 and 11 by 14 and 8 by 10s and 4 by 8 or 4 by 6s. But nothing, you know, too carried away here. So that's why I was going to look at the thrift store. But isn't that beautiful? So I got that done. See if I can get it over there on that table. That table's coming in handy. And I made some little ornaments, but I don't know what I did with them. Because during the week, I organized a whole bunch of crap, and I still have no clue where that's at. So, yeah, it, it's in a bag somewhere. Yeah. I'm so glad I or Well, I organized it. I have these. Well, I have some like this and then I got some that were in like a teal color so I could write on them yeah okay that was my attempt at organizing it needs like a second organizing but we're not going there so we did we did I did five different reviews and starting and finishing that mandala was part of one of them I got that from uh one day saving and the little bitty ornaments that I did was from DIY digital art then I did I worked on whoops well if I can get the picture I didn't mean to take it all out of there See if I can get it going right. This is a 35 by 45. They're beautiful. Look at those pretty, pretty flowers. It looks like it has snow when I'm turning it facing you. Sorry, it's a little glary. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That beautiful. So, yeah. Oh, crap. Just like a... This smells like old movie film. How funny. I haven't smelled that smell since I was at home with my parents. But all we did was work in this little bitty corner. That's, yeah, and you really can't even hardly tell. Just right there. So, and I couldn't find it for the longest time. It was sitting on my desk. Hello. I'll tell you why the desk needs to be... Oh, the hell with it. That is not going to go back in there. Hang on. I lost my paper. Oh, crap. And then I'm going to fall out of this chair. I'm not real fond of this chair. All right. Let's see. What else did we work on? Let me put that there so it won't fall out. I missed my recliner, but it's huge. And it, they both won't fit in this corner. Then last week... I worked on my, I don't have a picture of it, no. This is, is it right side up? This is my Chinese lady. Get that thread out of the way. So I worked on the top part of it, trying to fill in this area. Still don't know. Worked a little bit on the bottom area. But it is beautiful, and I love stitching on it. I, it sits right underneath my the table that holds my monitor for my computer and then if I want to work on it I just pull it out put that down there and we had a live so I worked on yin and yang I do have a picture of it let me see and it's supposed to be done in silk thread. You know I converted it. Yep, you've heard this story about 500 times. It's another one I like to work on. So it sits in the same area. Put that 
thread in there. Not like we're going to run out of black thread. Of course, it's 310. So I just got a little bit of this because I could not stitch and talk and, you know, comment at the same time, evidently. I would have been better off doing a... Oh, here, I'll show you the whole thing. So we're just kind of working on the background of the black. I should have been doing my knitting because I can knit and talk and think at the same time. But this was just not having it this weekend. So I may have to tear out that whole section. Because I was not getting things in the proper holes. It was great. But I do love that one. So those two stay out consistently. Unless I find something else. I think the lady with the lanterns. <coughs> oh my goodness. It's up. Uh, sorry. Close up and personal. Hello. Just kidding. Um, the lady with the lanterns is down there too, but I didn't work on it. Didn't drag out my count across stitch. I should have. But, you know. Hey. Then I worked on this beautiful bird that I got from Fan Cells. I ironed him. So he's all nice. And I'm about... Whoa, if I could just get there. Hang on. i got to get a hold of everything. Just about to cross the bottom. That's all done. So, yeah. I just love it. It has all different colors in it. I think it's beautiful. Just beautiful. So, yeah. I'll have more room to... I'm sorry. I'm not throwing it on the floor. There's a honest to God. I wish you could see it. There it is. There is the table. Yeah. It's right there. Whoops. Sorry. It took me forever. So, if the backdrop is not beautiful and gorgeous today, you know, I am so sorry. This is just how it is this week. I get to a hundred and you'd think that after doing a hundred floss tubes that I would be more organized and more confident and more this and more that and it's like I fell apart at the seams on my 100th floss tube. So, let's hope the next 100 go better. Then, the next one I worked on, uh, I'm going to have to pull it out. It's my little blue snowman. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. I just love him. So, I'll work on him in December. I'm going to try to go back through all those things that I organized and find all the winter's Christmas stuff. Yeah. So, we didn't get much done of this. I've been working at the bottom on it. Just right here. Just went around that red edge. But you really can't, can't see it. No. So, we've been working on that. So he'll get out more between now and March. You know, let me put all my papers with him because I hate that when I can't find it. Oh my goodness. That just drives me nuts. So that is everything that I worked on. Yeah. Not much. I mean, I was either getting ready for Thanksgiving, or I was too tired after Thanksgiving. It just kind of did me in. Yeah. And now they want to do this again at Christmas, but at my daughter's house. So, you know, the, the best part about my having it at my daughter's house is I'm five minutes away from home, and if I get over it, I can come home. Yeah, I like that. And I still don't know if we're going to do Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I'm just going to kind of walk away over here and let them all figure that out, you know, because they're big kids. They're almost 40. Come on, figure it out. So, we'll just let them deal. I'm kind of done. Yeah. So, that is all that I've done. I have no plans for next week. I have no idea where and what I will be working on. Not a clue. Not a clue, but I will pull out like I said, I'm going to go through all these cross stitches and my counter cross stitches and pull out the Christmas stuff. 
or the winter stuff and that's what we're going to work on period so yeah but other than that I don't think I did anything else so let me get rid of this box so I said for my 100th floss tube I would give away four cross stitches pre-stamp cross stitches so without further ado this one see I put labels on them is for the flowers okay let me get the flowers out and that is this beautiful one I am not going to take it out of its crinkly bag you know what it looks like you voted to have it oh yeah that took two hours on top of everything else because I had to figure out a system to do it so the only way I could go through all the names and do this old school was I had my four containers and I wrote down if you said it you know you wanted you would like to be entered for all four of those then I would make four names and put them in and then go to the next name and we remind me not to do that to myself okay so the winner of the flowers See, it says flowers. I hope you can see that. It's kind of narrow. Look at all of those names. There's names in there. So I'm going to pick one. I have a name. Then I'm going to set this on the floor so I don't knock it off. And the winner of the flowers is... If I can get it undone. Brenda Young Crochet and More. Brenda Young, Crochet, and more. So I'm putting your name. In the bag. Okay. I'm making sure I did the right thing. Holy cow. So I have her name in there. And I'm just going to set it over there. The next one to get rid of is my little owl. And you kill it. I love him. This is for the teapot. It says teapot on it because heaven knows I wouldn't remember what was what. And this is the teapot. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. It, I don't have a thing to say how big it is. I'm sorry. Not without opening it up. But it's, it's fairly good size. It has a good hunk of thread there. So for the teapot, get the one that says teapot. It's really old school. And there are at least 80 some names in here. See? Okay, just so you think think I'm lying. Let me pick out one and get it. I'm trying. It's so narrow, everything sticks to my hand. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to set that there. And the winner of the teapot is Pauline Rowberry. Rowberry? Rowberry? Pauline Rowberry. So, I will put, open this up. Sorry for the crinkles. Put Pauline's name in there. See, her name is in there now. Okay. I will pick those up in a second. Now, the next one is the rabbits. Aren't they just precious? Aren't they precious? It's a joy Sunday. It's a 33 by 24. They actually say on the outside. And I do have it upside down in the bag. But it comes in that lovely bag. So, for the rabbits... Oh, hang on. We're working in a corner over here. Rabbits. Oop. Rabbits. It says rabbits. Yeah. It's been a day. Okay. Oh, that was attractive. Hang on, guys. Pause. All right. I'm back. Yep. I went like that, and they all flew out. So, they were right there. They can't go anywhere. Trust me. There's... I'm surrounded by stuff all over the floor. Okay. For the rabbits. It says rabbits. Let's pick one. I have a name. Put the lid. In. 
and the winner of the rabbits is Debbie Brooks. Make sure that's how I spelled it. Okay. Some days I can't read my own writing. Where are you here? Debbie Brooks. And I will put your name into the rabbit bag. Whoops. Seriously. Holy cow. Okay. And her name is in the bag. Show you the bag. Because, see, if I don't do this, oh, this crap ain't happening because I'll lose it for sure. All right. And for the last one, which is, if I can just pull out, yeah, I can. The, it was backwards in there. The Autumn Wreath. So, let me put that back so I know what it is. I'll just lay it aside because it crinkles like crazy. And this one says Autumn. So give it a little shake and there's a lot of names in there too so let's see if we can do this without dropping anything this time and the winner of the autumn one I have a name putting the lid on because crap happens all the time and for the autumn wreath the winner is Brenda K Brenda K. All right. Put that in there. Get it in there, please. Well, congratulations to all the winners. I'm going to try to do this. Be right back. Trying to get all the work ones together. I threw them a little far. Okay, so, Brenda K, Debbie Brooks, Pauline Rowberry, and Brenda Young, Crochet and More. If, if you can get a hold of me through my email, my email address is below. That would be just absolutely super. And then I can ship it out. So we'll put them right back over there. For next week, we are going to have there'll be two Joy Sunday kits. And since it's going to be November, oh, and I got my December cups, but yeah. Tomorrow starts December. Let's not make it any quicker than it already is going to be. So, for next week, we have it's called Christmas Tree by Joy Sunday. From FGLBY store. And the little, of course, hang on. The next one is a Joy Sunday. And it's called Santa Claus Cat and Mouse. I just want to get the thread out of the way so you can see the picture. And not have to take it out. Okay, now we'll close it up. There we go. So. This one or this one. So Santa or Christmas tree. If you in the the comment section below, you put Santa or Christmas tree. Yeah. And I will enter you for those. This one is a 14 by 19. And this one is 27 by 31. So it's about the size of this. This plastic bag, actually, but the little one. Do I have it? It's a teeny tiny one. But this one, you could just add and add if you had beads and all kinds of crinic or other things that are shiny like thread yeah you could just doll that up to who wouldn't have it i just think it's cute all right guys these are the two for next week santa christmas tree and if the winners will get in touch with me that would be great 
I don't think I know anything else. Hopefully we'll be more organized next week. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something has to happen. I, I just don't, not real sure what it's going to be yet. But, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. If you like this floss too. And thank you for celebrating my 100th floss tube with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.